It's teacher and trainer Christy M. And a lot of people ask about Manicam. So I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview of how Manicam looks. Uh, two things to note. First is I have the free version, so I can't speak for those who have upgraded it. Second is I have a Mac, and PC is the same. It just looks slightly different. Um, so you're going to download it. It took me a few tries. Download it on itself. Download it on itself. For it to finally open and work and on my laptop, so just be prepared. You might have to do it like two or three times to get it to go. When you open it, this is what it's going to look like. And see here where it says like on air, you always want to make sure that's red. And these are the videos it's connected with right now. So to connect it with AC, you're just going to open AC, which is I'm doing right now. And so another tip is I like to open Manicam before air class, just seems to work better. Um, so I'll just enter a classroom, make that a little smaller for you guys, let's do a little bit of it. Um, so it's just taking a second to load and there it is, I'll make myself bigger. So as you can see, another thing is the free version always has the watermark. You can see it's right there, Manicam. Um, and I use Manicam just to help enhance my classrooms. You can use this as a virtual whiteboard, and that is what I use it for. So, for example, if I'm teaching a lesson about weather, you know, I'll include, I'll download a tornado picture, or if we're talking about Thanksgiving, you know, my pie is ready, or someone's doing a good job, I can download something that says yes um, if they get it correct. So that's just here on the homepage. Get more. It takes you right to their website where you can download. I think there's there's literally thousands of pictures you can download. So I just use these different things to help enhance my classroom. If we're learning about police, maybe I'll just have a little police car. If we're talking about the sun or weather, things like this, or anything that just you know looks fun to help the little kids. Like if you have a little kid and he's distracted, not paying attention, you know, have him kind of, oh wow, follow the plane, look at teacher. <laughs> so something like this, something to get the attention, especially the little kids. Um, another function that I use with it is down here. Uh, text I'll show you guys first so again see how this button's gray where it says on you want to make sure it's red da, 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 or green for this in this case green so uh, this I for example I was practicing letter A with someone so I might be like A A you can just add that feature another one I use a lot is draw this one's really fun for me you just literally choose your color the width blah 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 I like it a little smaller so they can see we'll take blue and you just draw on your screen like so. Um, and then, you know, you can erase whatever you don't want. It's always better just to make this or whatever, clear back, all these things. Um, and another thing that I use this for is when I'm showing a video to my students. So they won't be able to hear the sound if you have a headphone in, but if you pull your headphones out and you share your screen with them, you'll be able to see the video and hear it as well. So for that, you're just going to right click. The, don't do YouTube URL, it's like the hardest thing. Desktop, full screen. So see over here in our window, they can see this. And you guys will just go open your browser and they'll be able to see that in full screen. Just make whatever it is full screen so that's all they'll be seeing on theirs. And to end it, you're just going to go back and click FaceTime HD camera again. So guys, those are just the basics of why I use Manicam. The effects are super fun. Drawing letters, writing on it, sharing a screen. Thanks a lot and good luck with it.